So I've been walking through the woods now doing circles. I've been doing big circles around where I had left off walking. And I have covered quite a distance. Look what I see sticking up out of the ground. This is a marble marker. This is one of those, uh, see it's broken. Oh, I call it a piece of scrap that someone used to mark a grave possibly in purple glass, a purple vase. I'm gonna leave that right there. And I am gonna come back cause it's 3.30 in the afternoon and it's about 98 degrees and I'm thirsty. I didn't bring any water with me. I'm gonna come back to this. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out something about this right here. Sand Hill AME Cemetery. So we know what it is now. Let's go take a look at it. We're coming in from another road, another direction now. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, there's deer everywhere around here. We're just going up in this old farmland. It used to be all row crop farmland many, many years ago. About three generations of farmers. And the last generation uh, retired and planted all the trees. Let me go back here and take a look at this old cemetery. When I came in the other day, I came from the, my left to the woods to that other road, which is about well, about a half a mile, man, eh, maybe more than a half a mile, and came to the outskirts of the cemetery, and I didn't find this part right here, but we're going to take a look at it right now. So when I walked in, I walked in from that way. That's where the Willis Cemetery, the old Willis Home House is. Walked through the woods, I don't think it was a half a mile, I think it was a few hundred yards, really. And, and what I found was way out there, probably another hundred feet out there. And then this is what I'm finding now as I come in from this road. This is actually a cemetery that, from the looks of it, I think it's not really that old. Someone cuts the grass here. Maybe the property owner does. And I was told when I called my buddy up last night, he said this was an African-American cemetery that's affiliated with a church somewhere. I'm going to read one name here just to give me a reference point. Come ye blessed Nancy M., wife of P.L. Lockett, November the 1st, 1854, August the 2nd, 1924. So this cemetery was here, we know, in 1924. Now, here's a Eddie M. Loud who was laid to rest in 1997, December the 24th. So that's actually uh, not too long ago, really. Recently, in recent times. Ola Bell. Barham, December the th December. Oh, I can't read that. Three. Oh, died three twenty seven ninety one. So recent times, really. Recent times here, and you can see how it's grown up a little bit. Um, but what I found was way up in the woods. So I'm, I'm wondering what is the oldest. Barry, how old is this cemetery? And being an African-American cemetery, was this at any time affiliated with a with a um, uh, formerly enslaved people? Ernest Jackson, Private, U.S. Army, World War II, September 20th, 1925, April the 6th, 2007. here I was looking for large old cedar trees and I don't see them but as you see we walk up through here there's burials all up in here probably right here where I'm standing right here and what I found was this way so I want to walk this way through these woods and see how large this 
cemetery is. This is my question, I'm trying to date it. And when I looked on the 30, the map of the 30s, it showed this cemetery here. Did not show a church though. Showed a cemetery. An old glass pitcher that was used to carry water out here for one reason or another. Another piece of glass. Okay, if you look at the terrain, look how uneven and lumpy this terrain is. It, so, and you're finding these old glass vases that were used when you'd come out to bring flowers to your loved ones. Barrel, you'd put it right there on their burial spot. Now, minding the time period of 1900s, early 1900s, we know that someone in the early 1900s was laid to rest way over there. Could these here, which look like to me could be burial places, unmarked, no, not even field stones, could this be 19, pre 1900s? So I've got to find that marker that I stumbled on, which was a piece of marble sticking up in the ground. I don't know what that's doing out here. Someone threw a rag or something out here. Maybe deer hunters. All this land and soil that I'm walking over is lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. And I don't think it was farmed. The map that I looked at showed this cemetery as being pretty big. It was a large indentions. Everywhere I go, there's indentions here. Pretty large area. So I'm going to have to go do some research on this name of this cemetery. And See if find the grave has any information on it. Uh, like I said, it's, my maps do not show any churches with this. Another indention, see them? They're all down through here. This, this, was, this is burials right here where I'm walking. People are laid to rest without any kind of markers or anything. No field stones, because I told you once before, in this part of Georgia, there are not a lot of field stones. There are not a lot of rocks, a lot of sandy soil here. Some clay, some sand, some mixtures of sand and clay. Walk through the spider web. Oh, there it is. That's what I walked up on right over there. Let's go to it right now, Robert, and see what we can find. When I walk from the other side, another glass jar. There it is, that's what I walked up on. Okay, this is what I walked up on when I came from the Willis family cemetery, which is in that direction, uh, a couple hundred yards. And what I just came in on was that right there. I don't know if you can see that clearing right there, which is more modern burials. And here's a marker right here. And every bit of this soil from as far as I can just about see in these little hardwoods, there's little lumpy indentions in the ground, right up through there, right up through there. No other markers, no other stones visible. I'm going to keep walking. I remember the purple glass I told you about. Robert and I have both talked about this in previous videos. We're going to look to see if there's anything else. Every bit of this soil has got just... Multiple, 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 multiple mounds and dentions, mounds and dentions. Now, in the sandy soil, they don't show up that much. Sometimes they manage to, to level themselves out, but this one is real visible. Every bit of this terrain is really a piece of trash. Uh, lumpy as can be down through here. Mounds, slight mounds, slight indentions. I'm looking for more. Uh, marker stones, headstones, or anything that can make me think that we're actually walking. Proves to me that there's actually walking on a barrel of some people here. And uh, like I said, what I understand is this is an Afri African American uh, cemetery that's affiliated with a church. I do not know where the church is. I'm going to look on the way out. I think one of the maps that I looked at from the 20s showed a school building up this way, up this road. We're going back out that way and we're going to look and see. So, like I said, I'm... Now that is an old stump. 
That was a big tree at one time. Might have been some big trees out here. Maybe they've been cut down. Here are the present day burials, all sort of in a line right there. So why did they, why is there one way over here by itself unless right down through here where I'm walking are also burials? And they just started filling going back that way. Another purple glass right here. Yes, right here is another purple picture. See this kids? Ah, and it's intact. And I'm not gonna take it. There it is right there. Actually, I'm gonna lay it down. Well, it's already got a hole in the bottom of it. I was gonna so it wouldn't catch water, but um Ah, okay. Here's a picture of what I think someone was buried right here. Uh, aha, okay. Where's my other marker at? Gosh, I lost track of it. There it is right there. Right there, okay. There's the most modern ones right there. If you look right through here, I see a slab right in line with this pile of debris. So here someone's laid to rest because here's the purple vase that they brought to their loved one's grave. Walking over indentions and mounds as I walk. Walking over some wire that could have been around someone's private burial right here, possibly. We don't know. Take about two more steps. An old cedar tree that could be 50 years old, maybe. We don't know. And there's a, a mound and a slab right here. Look, this one here, which is concrete. And that one there, a flat slab, right in this row. People laid to rest right in this row. And you can see how the trees, there's another old big cedar tree. So the reason we don't see cedar trees is they're all knocked down. They're old. They've either died out or something. Burials right here in a row, right back that way. The other one's over there. Probably one, two, three, four rows that direction, I'm assuming. A headstone that's broken right there and you can see how it's up in the woods look how the headstone is up up in the wooded area and they haven't even cut this grass because the trees have taken it over it's worth me looking at and I don't know if I can I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try this one guys ah the moss has gotten it hasn't it I don't see nothing on that headstone do you I sure don't but it is a headstone, definitely. Can we read the name? Oh man, it's broken so bad. It's broken so bad, y'all, I cannot even make the name out. Maybe y'all can read it. Is that a R, R, E, N, F, G? R, R, E, N, F G I E maybe I don't know I can't make part of the stones missing and you know what you can see where the stone was repaired one time with some glue it looks like that is cool so we have really found a large un unkept cemetery burial burial whole burial another burial let's keep walking this line a straight line and see if we find some more here mound of dirt big cedar tree and then we see visible graves there headstone right here just found a headstone on the next row so this is one row this is the next row right here you can see how it's been damaged from the trees huge tree right there fell that's at rest it says it says age that's all we can make out let's give them a little uh, read right here set the camera down for a second robert so we can get our hands going here See if we can get our hands going here. Take a look at this thing. See if we can pull it up. See what we got here, kids. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Ah, footstone. We'll find a footstone, too. <clears throat> okay. I want to clean this one off. We're going to put some light on it. We're going to shine some light on you today. William. 
William Orr. That's an Orr. Died August 1894. Wait a minute. It can't be. It can't be 1894. Is that an 1894? Wow, it is 1894. So now we've got William Orr. Died 1894, age 60. At rest. William Orr. Oh, wow, can y'all see that? I'm sorry I'm shaking the camera so much. I'm so excited right now. Uh, yeah, I think it is. William Orr. William Orr. So, William, may you rest in peace. That could be his footstone right there, too. Right there. So this is pre-1900 where I'm standing right now. Pre-1900. And we know for a fact that one, two, three... Four rows, uh, three, four rows over. There's a stone right there. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but there's the stone that I stumbled on first uh, yesterday. Is there, and there are indentions all the way through here. So I am going to conclude that I am standing on um, in the mist of a. That didn't sound right, did it? Standing on or in? I'm amongst. That's the right terminology. I forgot my Latin. I'm amongst the dearly departed, possibly African Americans that if he had lived, he was 60 years old, means he was born into slavery. Let's get back over and read this again. This is amazing to me. To me it is. I'm, I'm get, sorry I'm getting all excited. Let's read this again. William Moore died 1894. 60 years old he was born in 1830 what six y'all add that up for me y'all can can add so he was born before this land in, into slavery more than likely i'm assuming because i think it's an african-american cemetery and and died is laid to rest right here just want to make that point to me that's exciting to me to find this out here like i said look how thick it is grown up Not forgotten. It's just sort of lost temporarily because we found it. And I'm looking for any other stones I might find. And I apologize for getting so excited and talk so fast, but it just just really, really gets me going when I find these things like this. Thanks for joining me too. And I'm gonna do a little more research on the way out. So let me let me cut this thing off for a while because it's starting to heat up. Oh wait a minute. That's a six. You're right. Sixty, yeah. Okay. At rest, and this is that poured. There's nothing. This is a poured concrete. I don't know when he was born, but they doesn't say. Doesn't out. say. Claims he was 60. That is amazing. Cool. Amazing, right here. Really amazing. And like I said, there's two slabs right there that are covered up. That one with moss, see it, the outline of it. Oh, wow. And there's got to be some more right here, underneath these trees. But like I said, very few of them are marked with markers or concrete. Or anything like that. See all that trash is piled up? Mm -hmm. I bet. Just, let's go over there and look. So I don't know how big this is. I think I said this once before. Robert and I talked about this in a video. You know where your grandparents might be buried, but your great-grandparents, you don't know nothing about it. We lose track. Families, kids grow up, move on off. Generations. Three and four generations ago, piece of tin. Why is a piece of tin? Unless at one time there may, maybe there was a church out here. I don't know. Maybe there was a building out here at one time somewhere. This is this is right here. Of the picture. This is one of those little burial things that you would put in a grave to mark where someone was buried from the funeral home. Right there. Right there. All up through here. Same thing. Another vase. Another mound of dirt. People laid to rest right up through here. No telling how many hundred, hundred up through here. No telling. Looking for a stone. If I find a stone up here, 
then I know I'd be right, but I'm assuming that they're laid to rest up here. Sand Hill AME Church, right there. And that's a block building. That's a block building. So that's modern, that's not old. But on that 30 something map that I, that I uh, looked at, it showed a school building here somewhere. A school building and another building. So where was a school building here and then they tore it down and built a church? Or was a school building over here somewhere? A lot of questions I asked. This church has not been occupied in a while. I was told that the congregation had moved somewhere else. It's just been sitting empty here. The question I have is, what's the school building over there? So anyway, we're about a couple of miles or a mile and a half from where that cemetery's at. And this is, like I said, right down the road. And I just wanna walk around and look and see if I see any old foundations to any old school buildings. Like I said, did they tear down the school building? Or did they build around the school building and build the church over the top of it? A lot of questions to ask. Unanswered questions. What we're looking at, we don't know. So, Give you some more questions. More que every time we go somewhere, there's more questions. We go looking for answers. We wind up with questions. Sand Hill AME Church. I think that stands for African Methodist Episcopal. I think y'all correct me if I'm wrong. I do remember reading somewhere that uh, late 1800s, post-Civil War, I guess I could say, there was a big movement by uh, Methodist and Baptist churches and other churches to have the African-American, the formerly enslaved people, have their own church, their own identity. And they uh, helped them build their own churches and get their own congregation started. I'm wondering if this was one of the churches or, like I said, on, on my 1930-something map, there was a school here. There was a school building right here. Was it African-American school? I don't know. Just other questions to ask. We're gonna get on down the road and look for some more. So I wish that there were more markers out here that I could uh, read the names off of, but they're, they're not. They were laid to rest without markers. If they were, were they were wooden or something. Um, no mortal knows their names, or at least I don't. God knows them. And uh, just want y'all to enjoy the, hope y'all enjoyed my little walk through the woods right here. It's, I know it's a short one here. But it's an interesting find. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go back and if, if some of y'all wanna do some research on the name of the uh, cemetery, I'm gonna try and find the church building or something that is related to the church building. I do know that the family that owns this land told me that there was a cemetery here. And uh, I think they are the ones that cut the grass now around that area. And they leave it open so that people can still come up in here, family members of those that are out, I'll point back out there to the uh, recent burials. They leave the gate open for them year round. And there have been some people come out to that area. 
but no one has been out here for a while because every one of them's, like I said, names are lost in time. Lost in time. Lost in history. Hey, that'll be the name of our new channel. Lost in history. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next adventure in history. Thank you.